it's a normal day. You are playing Apex Legends, uh, your pin is normal, your FPS is STD. But as soon as some enemy comes near and 1v1 one one with you, your pin is start going up and down and gameplay gets so laggy. I tried so many things. Um, I also tried using a paid VPN, but it didn't fix the issue. After trying so many things, uh, one solution fixed my issue. And uh, I'm not going to talk too much about techy stuff about this. Uh, I'll just show how to do it. Uh, before we are applying the solution, uh, we must make your IP4 address to a uh, static address. Uh, probably you are having a dynamic IP4 address now. So let's uh, change it. Go to CMT. Type IP config press enter note on your IPv4 address go to control panel network and sharing center connections properties internet protocol version 4 properties uh, default you have uh, obtain an IP address automatically and also obtain DNS server address automatically and also URP address value and default gateway values might be different than my values. Uh, before we change uh, our IP address, uh, we should copy a uh, subnet mask and default gateway from uh, CMD to uh, properties. Now about the IP address. Uh, I give you an example. Uh, your IPv4 address in CMD might look like uh, 100 92.168.8.4 uh, Now you copy that value and paste it in uh, properties uh, Next you only change uh, the value after the last dot It can be like uh, 180, 190 or 200 The high is better so after you change uh, the last value it might be look like uh, 192.168.8.200 next you can use the, your preferred dns servers as a google dns server or cloudflare dns server i'm using a cloudflare dns server that's why i put here 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1. And alternate uh, DNS server as uh, 1.0.0.1. After you change uh, values successfully, uh, next click OK and OK and close. Uh, you must uh, close CMD and reopen again to check uh, if the changes are applied or not. Uh, now you can check. Uh, your IPv4 address uh, change from uh, dynamic uh, address to a static address. If this uh, IPv4 address uh, same as the value you entered in the properties, uh, then your process has been successfully completed. Uh, let's go to the second step. Copy default gateway address. Open your web browser. Uh, next, uh, paste default gateway address into the uh, search field. Press enter. Now log into your router settings. Uh, you can find your uh, login username and password behind the uh, router. Uh, now you need to find a port forwarding option in your settings. Path to uh, port forwarding option uh, different from router to router. So simply you can search your router model uh, in Google and find the path to uh, port forwarding option. Uh, I have a uh, SRT router so I show how to uh, go to the uh, port forwarding option in my router. Uh, first go to internet tab next security tab after that uh, port forwarding tab uh, you can see i have already added port forwarding items in my cloud settings uh, now i'll show how to add an item 
uh, before that you need to go to uh, portfort.com uh, I'll drop down uh, the link uh, in my description uh, in port forward uh, page go to port list tab and then port forward games uh, inside that go down and find uh, Apex Legends uh, page. Next, find your platform here. Uh, for example, I'm using Steam, so uh, I'm using uh, the ports in uh, Steam section. So, next, uh, click on create new item, uh, enter a unique name. Uh, next, select uh, protocol type uh, TCP or UDP or both. Uh, so think that uh, TCP and UDP both have same port values then you have to select uh, TCP and UDP both option uh, next select your WAN connection uh, then don't change uh, WAN host IP address leave it with a uh, LAN uh, host uh, address must be your IPv4 address uh, WAN port and LAN host port uh, values must be same so you can copy them from uh, port forward uh, website uh, you will see there are some range values and also there are some uh, single values uh, if it's a range value uh, copy and paste it in here like I do but if it's a single value uh, just copy and paste uh, in all fields in a van port and LAN host port then next click apply now you can uh, create uh, items for all the ports uh, then simply restart the router if this video helped you uh, please subscribe my channel like my video and please comment